Sub Shredders, my name is Logan, aka Spider Hands, and welcome to SB Reviews, where today we've got ourselves a track. Actually, there's a few people involved in this. We've got a Ghost Ride Media, and this is a track featuring Julie Hall. Now, just to elaborate, we've got a song was composed by Ghost Ride Media, uh, Jonas, or Jonas Sjostrom, Sjostrom from Sweden. We've also got lyrics by Shirley Suraban from New Zealand as well as Jonas Sjostrom. And then we've got Julie Hall uh, from Norway. Sweet. So that's everyone involved. And this track is titled, uh, you know, If It Suddenly Happens. We switch over to here. Uh, we've got this track here. And we're going to listen to this from start to finish. And uh, we're going to hear what we think. Let's go. Okay, nice orchestral setup here. It's very charming. Lots of energy, little staccato. Ba, 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 ba. Sort of a youthful innocence to it. There's some stuff happening with the meters in terms of the time signature. The, there's like two, four, and some sort of six, eight bars or something like that. Okay, that's pretty professionally recorded and, and mixed at the moment. You know, the vocals have been through nice and clearly. The vocalist is succinct in the mix and she comes through and she's got great vocal technique, you know, the notes sound full and she's got a very natural vibrato. Each note stalks my pain With its harmony Do not taunt me Forest shelter me be my place to hide. All right. Okay, so when she talks about the forest being her peace, is she saying that she's looking for some where to kind of rest and recover from the stuff that she's been through? And when she talks about her wings carrying her places, is she talking about where life is going to take her next? I'm liking how we've got these higher strings coming in now to emphasize the flying part as if the music is soaring. It's a nice addition on top of the original musical theme. So That's a very charming piano line coming on on the right, the stereo field there. I think I understand how that was done. It's a great tail end to it as well, just sort of signal that we're switching to another part of the track. And from from what I can tell, maybe she's look she maybe she's been through some stuff with a previous relationship, and she's looking for a new person who will maybe treat her better or where she'll be happier. Oh no, I've got a choir in there. Simple, free, and now each way is I don't know what to do. Love like Okay, 
okay, so we're developing a song and continuing because, of course, the song is trying to tell a story, as many songs do, and um, it's it's the saying that the the way she used to live her life, just the options she used to have, just aren't there anymore, and she's trying to find a way out of that situation where she has freedom. I'm repeating this stanza that we had before. It sounds like a movie soundtrack. It's something I'm not quite used to. I'm, I'm used to a lot of the music that I end up reviewing being quite, you know, you know, you have four bars and then you have another four bars and then another four bars. And oh, there's an eight bar up. Oh, they, they decided to, to add an extra bar at the end, you know, but it's a lot more free form in this. I think it's catered specifically to work with the lyrics that the vocalist is singing. And I think that the sync, how, how in sync the, the, the elements of the mix are in addition to this uh, is very, very helpful. Oh, we're going up. Okay, are we doing one of those uh, key changes where you go up a up a tone on the key sig? I, 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 that might be what's happening here. So we're, I, I know that a lot of people listening to this will be able to hear the story that's being told anyways. But me reiterating it helps me figure out the the entire picture. Do you know what I mean? And uh, it's um, it's really interesting that we have the story of someone having a rough time and trying to find someone that they can then have for themselves and find peace with. I think that this is a tale as old as time, but the imagery that's been evoked within the lyrics and the story, and I think the orchestral take on it and a few other things, they just make this a little bit more of an original experience. It's, it's quite cool. <laughs> Again, like the singer is in the top of her vocal range now, but she's still sounding quite confident there. And I think that all the notes coming through nice and clearly, again, that's indicative of some fairly solid vocal technique for all those notes there to come through clearly and also to be pronounced properly, because that's another thing. Obviously, it's one thing to be able to sing and hit the right notes and the melodies. And, and you, you also need to be able to be, you need to be understood. <laughs> And ascending with the rest of the instruments. At least in terms of the dynamics there. Nice little roll on the snare drum at the end. Okay, so there's still a little bit of a, a little bit of anxiety and trepidation about the journey ahead, even though it looks like things could end happily. It's there's I think there's a hope and an optimism for things to improve, but when things go quiet, it's like the euphoria of an alternative to the current situation has ended. It's like oh, hang on, 
now I've got to actually do this. And then the piano fades out and we're at the end of the song. Yeah, I think this song justifies its five and a half minutes. It's uh, It was interesting throughout. There wasn't a point where I was sort of bored or disinterested in the, in the experience. You know, th there was not a whole lot of repetition, you know, which is interesting considering the fact that their main musical theme, while it was developed and there was a bit of modulation throughout the track, it was kept pretty similar the same way. It's the power of introducing different elements and sort of pulling pulling back and sort of you know what i mean like give and take energy changes within the music in terms of the different instruments the number of them also how they're being played you know again the the ending piano part for instance was very diff different to the the arpeggios the ascending and descending arpeggios within the chorus sections with the rest of the huge it was a huge sounding chorus you had the drums and the guy you know like cymbals and all that kind of stuff it was great fun great stuff really competent it did i think symbolically invoke what the the singer julie hall was obviously sort of talking about with the no lyrics and i think that in that respect at the very least it's a respectable composition and performance um again to have that amount of dynamic range on the on the vocal recording itself i'm very happy with i'm glad that we didn't try to compress it too much because it might have lost a little bit of its a little bit of its oomph if uh you know if you if you have a brick walled but yeah okay i haven't really got any other complaints about it i i think um you know there were clear a b and c sections and there was a change at the end and uh yeah i've got to hand it to ghost ride media and everyone else involved to to be able to again keep that interesting the whole time was it was well done especially without any solo sections or anything like that you know we had a choir section but there's not like there were any sort of really crazy vocal harmonies or anything. It was just that main singer for most of the time. Yeah, the choir is a pad-like thing, but that's effectively my review of uh, it, it Suddenly Happens by a Ghost Ride Media featuring Julie Hall. Well done to everyone involved. If you enjoyed this music, please do go check them out via their various social medias. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they have like a SoundCloud or a Spotify and stuff like that. And stay cool, stay safe. Please also remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. Catch the next review. Spider hands up.